as the sound fades away in your memory. Relax into this awareness which is here now. Ask yourself, am I aware? To be aware means to have a deep sense of the feeling state. I exist. This feeling state isn't a thought. Ask yourself, do I exist? Yes, of course you do. You ask yourself this question, not to find something new, but just to remember your own existence as a feeling state. Knowing this feeling state, the simple recognition, I am or I exist. Relax. Don't do anything. If you drift away in some way, Come back to this recognition. I am aware or I exist. For this short period of time, let go of all thinking. Rest in the sensations of your own existence. Know that you exist. Within this self-existent knowing, relax. Nothing to do, no one to be, nothing to understand. I am is the full knowing of your own existence. This existence is not different from the self, not different from the Supreme. To remain as the feeling state, I exist, is the way. Beyond thought, beyond person, into the Supreme. This gateway is always it's always open. Keep coming back. Rest here. as being, as often as possible.
just begin. Don't listen to anyone who tells you that you cannot know who you are. This is a lie. If you know I am aware, that which is aware is here now, then you don't have to ask any other questions. But you do have to know that you won't find what you are looking for by searching through the objects of mind, by answering questions, by philosophy. The only way to know who you are is to seek who you are, not in the world, not in your own mind, but rather before all of that. What makes it possible for you to know in this moment that awareness is here? So ask that question, who am I? In this spirit of knowing something about your nature as being consciousness and bliss. This practice of self-inquiry will eventually turn awareness back into itself? The very question, yes, who am I, what am I, am I aware, any form of the inquiry like that, you can have this experience right now. You can answer that question yourself. If you say, if you ask yourself, what is inquiry? Or what does he say to yourself, what is he talking about? You can feel your attention is going toward that concept. Whatever I'm talking about, it is going toward the concept of inquiry. Isn't that true? You can feel your attention go there because you are interested. Correct? Yes. Now ask yourself, who am I? Where does your attention go? Um, nowhere. I, I don't know where it goes. Yeah, it yeah. Go Very but, good. Yes, it feels like it goes back. Very good. So how advanced do you have to be to see this? Not, not very. very advanced, probably. Uh-huh. Yeah. So now, just be persistent. So that when you feel the attention go out, into what is he saying, what is this concept, what is that concept, what does he mean, what is this experience about, what is that experience about. Just keep asking, who or what is aware of this? Who am I? And keep feeling that very direct turning back. Sri Ramana Maharshi called this turning back to the source. And even from that one experience you've had, you already can feel yourself turn back toward the source. The source of what? The source of the belief that I am the body, I am the mind. This is the world. Turn back toward that source. If you keep going, <clears throat> you eventually come through your own direct perception, not through something I say or someone else says or someone you something you read. You have the direct perception of who you are as being consciousness, not as this body, this mind that fills most of your mental space. So just keep turning the attention back very gently, very kindly, but over and over, be persistent. Is this what works for you? Yes. How many this years is, did it take? This is what destroyed me. Ah, are you ready? 
ready for enlightenment or do you want there do you want there, do you want there to be a better you a better me or are you ready for this me to be destroyed answer this question for yourself if you just want a better improved me there are lots of self improvement concepts that can help with that if you want this me to be destroyed in favor of what is real and true, then proceed. Ask, who am I? What is aware here? Uh, well, I asked, um, how many years did it take you? What is your, uh, what was your journey like? Mm -hmm. No journey. If you want to know something of my history, you can go to Still Mountain Satsang and you can look at videos of people who have interviewed me, but we're not going to go into that story tonight. That's a story of a dead body, of someone who no longer exists. Did you have a master? I've been fortunate to have a few, actually, but all within the same general outlook. Was this self inquiry, self inquiry, inquiry your only practice? to find no. no i came to self inquiry after many many years almost two decades in the buddhist tradition as a student and a teacher all of that persistence which is why i talk about persistence was only to prepare me to be here now To be here as presence, as awareness itself. Do you remember your past lives? This is the question of someone who hasn't investigated their own life. In this moment, I'm not interested right now in playing this game. What is this life? Who are you? This is the only question. Are you listening? I, I, said, this in, I said this in the instruction. I said it to you earlier. And you still want to know about something that is up here in your mind. You've been given every answer that you need but you're up here buzzing around. You think you're going to find the answer here, but I don't want to play this game. The answer is here in the heart of being. In this moment, as you are, if you ask this question sincerely, who or what am I? I'm not interested in leading you around, Prem, over 12 years of experience or 12 years of practice or 15 years of investigation. These are the ones who will tell you that the inquiry is for mature students. I am telling you that the inquiry is for you here now. But you don't, don't we need a matured mind to stay? enlightened and aware it helps to have it helps to have a stable mind but the way to have a stable mind is not to believe what you think is mind what is mind mind is a bundle of thoughts 
What is aware of the thoughts? This is the question. Even if I were to experience a satori through this self-inquiry, I would not remain enlightened because my mind would probably not be matured enough for that and would still have heart wounding and perhaps beliefs and this has been proven not to be true over and over by the sages. Oh, that's, which that's sages? Belief, understand that this is a belief system you have, which is not serving you. Throw it which down. Sages? Huh? Which sages are you talking about that disproved this? So you still want me to give you homework? So you can go, through, you want to go look through books and videos? Okay, you can do that. Go to the internet, look up enlightened sages. You, you, there's, there's plenty of information to entertain you for, for decades. Oh. Uh. Well, when you mentioned sages, I thought you were going to give some examples of the sages that disprove this. But you don't seem to have something to back that argument up. I doubt you're enlightened. Very good. You can go now. Thank there's, you. Nothing for, there's nothing for you here. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. All right, dear ones, be well, be happy. Know that you are that which is aware in this moment. That which is aware is before who you think you are. If you want to know who you are, Give up the search. Simply remain here as this recognition that that which is aware is here now. Go in peace, go in love, go with God. Hari Om, that's it.